All right, an object has a volume of three cubic meters. What's the greatest mass it could have and still float? Let's try making a picture of the situation. Good. Now, this is an object that's just on the verge of sinking. We want to think about the object when it's just on the verge of sinking, just barely floating. So how does that affect our picture? That's right. In fact, if it's right on the very verge of sinking, then we should draw it just barely completely submerged. We should draw it just barely completely submerged because this is when it's just at the very verge between sinking and floating. Okay. All right. Now let's try to attack this similar to the last problem that we were doing. So what would, what would be some of the steps we could do here? Free body diagram. Yeah. So let's try that. Let's think about that a little bit more. Actually, I think this problem did give us enough information to figure out what to plug in for the volume submerged. So just the total volume on the verge of sinking? That was the point of our picture. So in our picture, since it's just on the verge of sinking, it must just barely be completely submerged. This is where we're just on the verge between sinking and floating. So now the entire volume has just barely been submerged. So this is a case where we can use the total volume as the volume submerged. Total volume in the water. Right. So then the mass would have to be less than the mass that I calculated. Right? That's right, or less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. So when the mass is equal to 3,000, it can still barely float, but only if it's completely submerged. So if the mass was any even a little bit bigger than 3,000, we would no longer be able to float anymore. Okay. Because if the mass was bigger than 3,000, so if the mass was bigger than 3,000, would that increase the weight? Yes. Yeah. But would it increase the buoyant force? Yes. What? No, it wouldn't. What does the buoyant force depend on? It depends on these things. The buoyant force cannot increase any more now. The buoyant force can only increase by submerging more of the object. The buoyant force can only increase by submerging more of the object. 
But now the buoyant force has done its utmost. We've submerged the object completely, and it's, only st it's still just barely holding up the object. So if we increase the weight even more, there's nothing the buoyant force can do to compensate, and the object is going to start sinking. OK. So here we got that the mass was 3,000. Good. So again, we did this similar to previously by finding all the forces on the object and plugging into Newton's second law. How did we know to plug into zero over here? Well, because we wanted to assume that it was still floating. We wanted to find the greatest mass it could have and still just barely float. Well, if it's still just barely floating, it's going to completely submerge, but then remain motionless. It'll completely submerge, but then remain motionless. Good.